Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining and taking your time out of your day to learn about our voltage references and supervisors from Texas Instruments. Today, we'll be going over, an over a brief overview about voltage references and supervisors, how you can find these devices on TI.com, a few of our key investment areas of, of these devices. I'll highlight three new products that we recently released, and we'll wrap it up with key technical resources you can find. So to start off, I wanna introduce you all to TI's supervisors and voltage references. And how TI does it is we split it into three product families. First, starting with the supervisors and reset ICs, these are mainly to monitor your voltage rails going into your key loads, such as your processors or your microcontrollers. And the main purpose of this is to make sure that your voltage rails do not drift too low or too high above the nominal rails that's supposed to be supplying your processor in order to make your system continuously run safely. And the types of products that we offer are the window types, which is both under voltage, over voltage detection, a low power, so low quiescent current, as well as watchdog timers. So not only are we monitoring for the voltage, we're also monitoring the watchdog from the MCU. On the right-hand side, uh, the two boxes on the right are our voltage references. And how TI splits these is by series and shunt voltage references. The main difference between these two product families is that the series voltage references are much more precise and accurate. Where you'll find a majority of the series references used is tied with data converters. We reference either ADCs or DACs to maximize the accuracy on your analog signal measurements whether they're internal or external to your MCU. Over on the shunt voltage references, these are a little bit more flexible in the sense that majority of them can be adjustable. So you can adjust your output voltage by using external resistor dividers. And for these, the use cases vary a little bit more. You can either use them for referencing your optocoupler, positioning it as a band gap voltage for your comparator or op amps, driving LEDs, and as a matter of fact, for the shunt voltage references, we also categorize some as medium accuracy, where it's significant enough to also be referencing data converters as well. So jumping into how to locate these devices on TI.com, what you see here on the screen is TI's webpage, TI.com. And when you click on the products link and power management, you'll be able to locate our supervisor reset ICs portal, as well as our voltage references portal. And I put some quick links on here uh, so that it lands you directly to these portal pages by going directly on ti.com slash SVS for supply voltage supervisors and ti.com slash VREF for your voltage reference needs. Now within these landing pages, you'll find how TI makes it easier for you to identify the correct type of product that you need, split by the very common and typical feature sets that customers often look for. So on the supervisor side, we have six product categories that we mainly drive towards promotion, and they consist of the single channel, which is just one channel, under voltage only monitoring, or over voltage only monitoring your window detector, so that's under and over voltage, your watchdog timers, your multi-channel, so two, three, or four channels, uh, your push button reset ICs, as well as the low class and current types of devices. On the voltage reference side, we have two different landing pages for your series voltage references, as well as your shunt voltage references. And each of these come with their own unique sets of features, and for the series voltage references, of course, you know, we, we mention high precision because these are the types of devices that customers use in order for us to get the best accuracy out of your data converters. But of course we have, you know, our investment areas of quiescent current, small package, 
dual output and as well as automotive graded devices. And similarly for the shunt voltage references, you'll find very similar attributes located there as well. So your low IQ, high precision standard and automotive grade devices. Now I wanna go over some of our key investment areas for these products in specific. And TI likes big trend towards automotive and industrial. And I listed out a few technology highlights where we play heavily with our devices. However, these devices are definitely not limited to these two markets. And you can also find them being used in communications equipment, enterprise systems, as well as your personal electronics applications as well. But the four main highlights here are what you see on the bottom half of the screen. And these are the key investment areas that we PI think of when developing new products for voltage references and supervisors. And they consist of wide VN. So we wanna make sure that we're working with high, rail, high voltage rails so that we can run directly off of your 12 volt, 4, 24 volt rails. Your low IQ, of course, you want a safe system power consumption. Precision, again, it's something that PI takes into high price because we are market leaders in terms of voltage supervisor accuracy on the thresholds, as well as voltage reference precision on the output voltage. And last but not least, we have our small size that we also take into key consideration. And you'll be seeing today, one of the devices that we've manufactured to be the industry's smaller size voltage reference. And you'll begin to see these key attributes play when I highlight our new devices that we recently released. Now, the first device that I wanna go into is for our supervisors at Reset IC. And what you see on the left-hand side of the screen are the existing TI portfolio of what we have to offer. And it has a really nice breakdown on the key features that you may require so that it can break it down by the specific device for you, which you can search for. And just as a quick comparison here, on the right-hand side is our really newest device that we released from the supervisor family. And it's only about two weeks old since launch. Um, and it is a pre-production launch, so all the samples and documentation are still coming up, but you'll still be able to find the product folder as well as the data sheet. And the reason why I'm highlighting this today is this is TI's first ever ultra wide VM voltage supervisor. On the right hand side, on the left hand side of the screen, excuse me, you'll find that the bold indicates the ply voltage range of 12 volts or higher. So these devices here and here. And generally, they are anywhere between 12 to 36 volts. Whereas this new device, TPS 37X, offered in both the commercial and the automotive grades are rated at 65 volts to account for any types of transients you may see on your 12 volt or 24 volt rail line. Now, the beauty of this device and the uniqueness comes from saving power. And the way that we do that is Oftentimes, when detecting these high voltage rails, it's commonly used, use case is by dividing down that voltage using resistor dividers. Now, that causes two concerns, which is leakage current to ground, so your overall power consumption has increased, as well as your accuracy, because you have to now take into account the tolerances of your resistors. Well, what this device does, TPS 37, is it integrates those resistors into the device. And we pre-programmed from our factory preset threshold options. So when we ship it out, it is preset with the exact voltage threshold and hysteresis that is required from the customer. We also have, and, and these voltage threshold options range anywhere between 2.7 to 36 volts in, in various increments and steps. So lots of different flavors here to work with and very flexible design. 
But in addition, we also offer an adjustable version for those of you who want to use a single orderable or material. Uh, we do have the flexibility of just offering an 800 millivolt band gap for this device where you can use external resistors to adjust your that threshold voltage. Now it does come with two sense pins. So one of them will be for your under voltage monitoring and the other one will be for your over voltage monitoring. One very unique feature about this device that I want to highlight is the programmable sense time delay. Now, this is very unique in the sense that majority of our devices and devices in the market today only have reset time delay. Your supervisors and reset ICs, whenever they see a under voltage or over voltage condition, the reset will trip or trigger instantaneously. And when the power rail becomes stable, sometimes you want to wait a couple of milliseconds or microseconds in order for you to start up your system properly in the correct sequence. And that is the reset time delay. However, in this device, what TI has done is we put in a programmable sense time delay, which allows the user to preset a time when the voltage actually sees the under voltage condition and waits until you trigger a reset. And oftentimes this is usually typically found in the automotive subsystems when you're monitoring your battery voltage and you see either a short spike um, or a very low spike in, in your cold crank at battery conditions. But also we see this in push button use cases where if you push a button and hold it down for X number of seconds, then a reset will occur for you to enact another app subsystem use case. So those are the two main reasons for adding the sense time delay and it's very unique to, to TI here. The next device that I want to highlight is now from our shunt voltage reference product family. And again, you know, on to the left hand side, you'll see the list of devices that TI currently has to offer. And on the right hand side, you'll see one of our latest and greatest products that we released in this product family. Now, I'm sure many of you here on the call all know the TL431. It's an industry favorite, very well known. A lot of semiconductor vendors produce this device. And what TI has done here is we've released a next generation to the TL431. And it's called TL431LI or also ATL431LI. And, and what's unique about the ATL431 is that it's the advanced TL431LI and the LI stands for low current. And what's advanced about this is that we've significantly reduced the regulation current of this device. So essentially your classing current. What you'll find across the industry is that TL431 must have one milliamps of supply of current in order for you to regulate the correct output voltage. Whereas this advanced TL431LI is able to regulate your proper output voltage by only having 80 microamps. So this is a significant reduction in IQ. And in addition, what we've done is we've lowered or limited the deviation of reference input current over temperature. And now what this means is essentially we've limited the current flow into your reference pin so that your output is much more stable and accurate. And you'll find those differences, key differences when you start comparing the legacy TL431 versus our newer ATL431LI. Now, another benefit that I wanna highlight here for this product in specific is the uniqueness in the package. So we definitely also offer it in the SOP23, that's the industry standard three pin uh, leaded package. But what we've done here is we've created a very small package called X Tucson or DQN. And it's a leadless small package 
that's one by one, so significantly smaller than your leaded SOC package. And this really helps in limiting the board size consumption so that you can place it practically anywhere on the board without having to risk size, especially on these size constraint boards and applications. So we, we have this already released on TI.com in production. So samples are available today for both options, whether it be the leaded or the non-leaded small package. Now, the last product that I want to highlight, the product family, I should say, is the series voltage reference, right? So we hit um, all three product families that TI has to offer here. And on the series voltage reference side, again, you know, just going back to the first two recommendations, the left-hand side showing you all the devices that TI has to offer today. And then on the right-hand side is our newest device that we will be releasing. And it's great that you all joined here today because this device is actually going to release one, about one week after today. So you guys are all here attending this webinar. You guys are the first ones getting the sneak peek of what our newest voltage reference is going to look like. So the uniqueness about this REF70 device is its accuracy and precision. Again, the series voltage references are highly used with, with data converters that need the highest amount of resolution. And just, a, just as a quick comparison here, you know, one of the key attributes that I highlighted on the REF70 is its initial accuracy of 0.02% max. Now, as you can see, comparing that to the existing products that TI has in its portfolio, the lowest that we've ever gone was 0.05. And now we've exceeded those boundaries and hit a new limit for us, making REF70 TI's most precise voltage reference. In addition, we have the lowest temperature coefficient across our voltage reference portfolio. The lowest today is sitting at around three, anywhere between three to eight ppm per degree C. And as you can see here for the REF70, we have a two ppm per degree C device from minus 40 to 125. And we also have characterized it for minus 40 to 85 in not so stringent temperature rated application. And in this instance, it is actually as low as one ppm per degree C. So very accurate, low temperature drift. So that means that your output voltage will, will not deviate as much as any other voltage reference out in the industry. And last but not least, the output one over F noise is very important as well as this is a key consideration when talking about your 16, 18 bits, ADCs or higher. And this is, this is really a spec that, that we take high pride in because we, try, we strive to be the industry's lowest. And in terms of noise, we have come out with a less than one, so 0 0.22 microvolts peak to peak per volt noise. And just as a comparison with the other product families in our portfolio, we're sitting somewhere between, again, higher than three microvolts peak to peak per volt, whereas this is now hitting a new, new standard for us um, where you're seeing less than one. Again, the packages here are offered in two different packages. Um, one is the DGK, and that's the standard plastic leaded package, eight pins. And another unique thing about this device is the secondary package, what we call the FKH package. And what's unique about it is that it is in a ceramic package. So this allows us to address higher levels of confidence in your humidity testing and also your your long-term drift and thermal hysteresis will not be as affected 
especially when you're talking about your super high accuracy precision voltage references when those are when those become those key attributes become very very important to your system now one thing that i did not mention is of course every device here that i've shown today you can all find it on ti.com except for this ref 70 you'll, you're going to have to give us one more week to find this on ti.com but everything else that you saw here on the screen including the left hand charts every device on here is all available today for you on ti.com now i want to talk about our key resources that we have to offer and these snapshots here are taken directly from the landing pages that I showed in the beginning of the slide. And when you go to the technical documents tab for either the voltage supervisors or the voltage references, you'll find documents or white papers, application notes, or technical notes, or what we call tech notes, ranging from anywhere between what is a supervisor and voltage reference, all the way to very application specific details like how to use your voltage references in motor drives and as well as as well as having your push button programmable and how to solve system level concerns or problems that we typically face right so there's a lot of information out there that can help um, solve your daily or needs or problems or concerns that you may face out there, we have covered a majority of the issues here on these resources. So lots of different things to look at and all the snippets that I took in the previous sections showing our flow chart about what is our voltage references and voltage supervisors, current portfolio, existing portfolio, they're all on here. And this is where I, I got those snippets from. So a wide variety of, of resources that I that that TI has to offer here. And one last thing to end it all up, to wrap it all up, is for our resources, what we've done in the past one year or so is we have a lot of devices in our portfolio that are now being used for functional safety, whether that's in automotive or industrial. And what we've done here is for every product, especially the automotive ones, we have listed the fit and failure mode distribution for these products inside the product folder. So when you go onto the product folder and you click on technical documentation, you'll likely find this functional safety fit rate and failure mode distribution application note. And when you click on it, you'll be able to download the total fit rate of the device, your Siemens norm, as well as your failure mode distribution across different failure modes. And it's marked in, in, in a percentage per each failure mode. And this really helps engineers calculate your overall system level fit rate in order for you to ensure your entire system is capable of meeting the, the functional safety standards or requirements. And a lot of our devices will be functional safety capable. And in, a, in about the next, the next set of devices that we'll be releasing from our product set, product line, product line and product family, we will actually have devices upcoming that's functional safety compliant, which means it goes through the functional safety flow, whether that be ISO 26262 or any of the industrial functional safety flows to ensure that we are ASOL X capable and ranging from A, B, C, or D. So you'll eventually find those products slowly starting to release into market from TI.
And with that, I want to thank you all one more time for joining this Voltage References and Supervisors Overview from TI. And again, you can find all of the information here listed on www.ti.com slash NPU. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to your field team representative from TI. Thank you, Chong. Thank you, everybody, for attending. Have a good rest of the day.